Okay, uh, my name is Lorne, LD Tech Chief um, from 60 Grand Nation and I'm running for Chief and Council this term. Um, a little bit about myself, I've been living on the 60 Guy most of my life. I did a couple of years here at Calgary for school wise. I took school at SAIT. I actually graduated high school from Strathmore. And um, I'm here downtown, some fellow candidates, and just um, taking in the festivities that they planned here at the Olympic Plaza. And yeah, I'm here to some, give my support. Issues uh, that I've actually encountered throughout my campaign trail. Um, I went to some forums and doing some home visits. And the most important thing I've been running into is the communication. Um, a lot of people are in the dark about what our leadership is doing. And you know, we I'm part of it too. I, I'm not too sure what our leaders are, you know, they need to be more, uh, they need to fall through and let our people, let us know that what they are working for us, on behalf of us, and again, like I said, communication was a big part, and then I'm also here in housing, housing is a on and off the reserve issues, and then um, a few others were like education, um, but again, I believe the first, the main thing was the communication and I guess being account, accountability from our leaders. I'm not about the negativity. I want to be positive. I want to be able to help our people. In regards to how I'm going to help, I, you know, just being more open, uh, open-minded than, you know, need that, um, transparency, accountability, you know, just being able to uh, have an open door for our people, you know, whether it be open bad meetings or sharing the minutes, you know, we need to, I think we need to start doing that again. Um, our people deserve to know what we're about, you know, what we're working on. And again, if you have a read on my, with my um, platforms there, I believe it was on the 60 Guy 2019 Election Forum webpage on Facebook. Um, it gives an idea of what, like again, I'm saying goals and ideas. I'm not about um, making any promises to the people. I want to be able to be open, you know, share. If you, you know, I want to be able to people to come to me and if they have some ideas, I'm going to be here to listen. And I think that's what a good leadership should be. I had some ideas, you know, solar energy. That was we had a, we had an opportunity to do that this past well, two years ago. Uh, it came across our our um, table there, and it was you know we had some great ideas in regards to all they were asking for was you know, a little piece of land to start up their some solar grids to be able to um, solar panels. Sorry be able to um, see what you know, type of energy we could um, we could uh, take from this and then see where it goes expand you know it could be an opportunity more employment um, it could have you know maybe say down the road we could save our energy bills across the nation you know that was just one of the ideas that I was brought you know that I thought of um, and again membership need I believe they need to be involved in more decisions, um, referendums. You know, our people need to at least know that they're not being left out. Um, in regards to that, what I mean, for example, I'm going to use the, um, the distribution. We, as members, are getting 500 ahead, and you, know, you do the math. We have about 7,800 members it works out to close to four million and that's a lot of money I mean I know there's some families that really do need it but you know if we're able to find four million dollars on an election year I don't see why you know we could have um, given the people an opportunity to have an option of 
how we're gonna spend this four million. And why I mean by that is, again, I'm gonna use the word referendum. We get the people the option. We get them two or three options. Here's four million. Do, you, do the people wanna use it to take $500? And, you know, that sounds good and dandy, but at the end of the day, that $500 is gonna be gone within a day or two, spent off the reserve. Or, we get to the option of, you know, we have a lot of homes in the reserve that are boarded up, $4 million, you know, renovations, not just houses, but our facilities, you know, Albers Lodge, Men's Lodge, you know, we could have used the money, education, you know, there's a lot of kids that are struggling to, um, you know, their rent up here in the city, you know, $4 million is a lot of money. At least we gave the people that option of voting for what they want. And if they vote for the distribution, so be it. But at least we gave them that option. At least they had that, you know, that mindset that, okay, at least they kept us in the loop. And that's what I'm about. I want to be able to share that, help out of our people, and, you know, let them know that they're not being left out.